Hey Collective, welcome back to Juju's Oracle. Welcome to my channel if, you knew, if you're new. If you knew, yeah, if you knew how many people have their eyes on you, how many people have been watching you, placing bets upon your journey. Some of these people are people who placed sacrificial bets. And what I mean by that is you were supposed to be the sacrifice for their life. They were trying to destiny swap with you. They were trying to swap energies. They wanted you to live their life and then let them live your life right so they wanted to be seen under your likeness under your energy under your light under your wisdom without ever actually doing the inner work with ever actually ever having the wisdom at all right and for some reason you know the universe god spirit even human other human beings will let these people get away with their actions because it is conducive during a certain time but it is the age of Aquarius and we are awakening. The chosen ones are awakening those who are ascending. Um, you know, you may not even think that you're chosen. You may, you know what I'm saying? People are awakening due to what's happening environmentally on this planet, on the earth. So Spirit wanted me to talk about, and I do have another channel message that I'm still um, editing in regards to the media, the entertainment industry, and how they have been using a lot of chosen ones lives as entertainment, whether you know it or not, they may use different people's names, or they may use, you know, they'll sprinkle some truth in there. So you'll be like, is this about me? Like, I know somebody with the same name, I'm going through the same situation, but the main character, their name might be different from your name. So then it just throws you off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So like I keep saying in all of these readings and that comes up when spirit is speaking to us, they, they intentionally intentionally try to throw off our intuition and create rage and shame and guilt and lower vibrational energies that you may not be able to move through in your day to day life. But you may not even subconsciously know that this is happening to you due to you just watching a movie or due to you just watching the same show over and over again, like the people that tune into baddies every week. But you don't even subconsciously know that that's due to the trauma of you fighting with your sisters in your household, right? So you know about that already, right? So you may already be still perpetuating these same generational traumas and patterns, or you've already worked through them and you're still attracted to them some way, somehow right opening up another portal another energy um convoluting more of that energy into your life into your space into your psyche so let's tap in and see what spirit wants to talk about another thing that i'm getting is these people that where their spells their spell work is backfiring some of them they have completely stopped some of them they have stopped for a second but then they started back up maybe during the last full moon or something like that or maybe during the last new moon where you start to you know manifest things so yeah there's that but at this point they can't really do anything but watch and stalk okay and if you realize they're getting more and more out of hand they're they're getting more and more disrespectful delusional yeah things are not making sense things are not adding up you got leo out here the fifth house more leo and saturn so yeah there's a lot of karmic debts with love creativity self-expression recreation relationships offspring as well so yeah there could be karma that's happening with people's children Oh, wow, I'm hearing that there could be issues with bearing children in the future for these for these people who are engaging in these acts. But there's going to be there's there's a lot of karma with people's self-expression. If you pay attention, they're very blocked, very limited. Be meticulous and patient. They've been blocked, they've been limited, which is why they had to resort to spell work in the first place. But like I said, other humans, 
and the universe it was conducive at one point in time oh yeah we can just get it done with spell work it was like even it was even revered to do that oh i'm a i'm a witch i cast spells i do love spells your surroundings will undergo transition yet yeah, hindrance fate has blocked this path for you so i really feel like the backfire is about to be big yeah seduction passion and romance await so i feel like this is in regards to love spells in regards to people domineering other people's will all right trying to bend other people's will and like i said love spells do not have to stop at someone trying to manifest a love situation and i'm gonna um make a video eventually i might do it on my other channel about the difference between like these oils and things like that right because when you're when you're a spiritualist and you really understand energy and how energy works jezebel oils and things like that there's a thin line between that how you use it your intention is everything okay so we're talking about people who try to bend other people's will who are already dark who have that seed of darkness within them and something happens in their life some type of trauma or they're they're constantly triggered they're constantly they're so insecure and so insincere all right that any little thing can trigger them and make them want to go into their witch broom closet and and put somebody's hair in a jar or put some you know do some dirty nasty things to try to end someone's life manipulate their life you know what i'm saying take their outcome steal their joy steal their energy and it's done and it's over with seek a union of mind and spirit you will receive news from afar you are destined to succeed a barrier keeps you from your goal the title card a sly and subtle approach is needed bright new prospects on the horizon let your intentions be known conflict and danger lie in wait beware who you trust So yeah, I'm also getting speaking, okay? How these people have sp spoke about your destiny to block you. It's being called into question. Because how can you speak on another person, but in all the years that I've known you, and this could literally be what people are telling these people, how people are feeling about these people. I've never seen you produce anything on your own. I've never seen you produce anything without putting another person down stealing from another person it's very clear in their self-expression in their recreation in their relationships and in their offspring what they what their karma is okay so that's why you should be meticulous and patient in regards to your surroundings undergoing transition don't just jump into things oh i heard spell work is something that can get me anything and everything that i want let's go And then you start to see other human beings, other people as a means to an end. Hold on. Don't you know God is real? Don't you know ancestors are real? Do you know who you playing with? Do you know who you just bind it to you? What you just bind it to you? Surrender to a celestial uh, in, uh, alignment. Yeah, these people didn't. Which is why they're disconnected from their ancestors. They're disconnected from God. Which is why you need to be meticulous and patient in regards to your surroundings under, undergoing transition. And when fate has blocked the path for you in regards to passion and romance. Any type of partnership. Yeah, you could be vulnerable out here. Intuition. Yeah, utilize your intuition when you're moving in these new partnerships, new levels, new devils. These people are out here for blood at this point. Storms, you can't make it up. Spirit is trying to, is going to hinder you from storms. Is going to block paths from storms. Alchemy, yeah. Because you're alchemizing. You're manifesting. You're in a very strong, grounded energy collective divine or desired feeling safe shame brazen etheric cords masks pleasure wounded healer miracles divine lineage awakening yeah it was a miracle that you that you've overcome all these incubi and jezebels and succubi right and like i said we're talking about the actual demon we're not talking about the energy of when you think of a jezebel you're thinking of okay yeah there is um, oils and things out here that 
women can buy that can make them more attractive, right? Because it's the energy behind whoever the root worker is or whatever it is behind it, right? Then you have people who are actually doing spells on one particular person to get one particular person to be binded to them for the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? And it may not even be in a way to where they want to sleep with that person. They want to marry that person. No, this is actual, this is like, this is like aunties doing this to, you know what I'm saying? Their grandsons and, and things like that. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who are binding themselves to people, a random or not even a random person, but someone else in their, in their life, an adult, who they see as having qualities, characteristics, a life path that they want to steal from, that they want bits and pieces of, but they don't even understand that on the opposite end of that, by you binding that person, that person is going to have negative experiences. That person may not even experience what they're supposed to experience due to you binding them because you're a, a, a dark karmic witch who has not done the inner work and you're trying to steal this person's inheritance. So you're going to steal this person's inheritance, meaning they're not going to get it. So it's up to you to utilize your logic, reason, and common sense. Be meticulous and patient. Be meticulous and patient when your surroundings undergo transition. Yeah, utilize your intuition. Because when these things happen to you, then you start things start to fall away. You lose your job or you're getting less hours. Your money is stagnated. Your roads are blocked. Wait, what's happening? What's going on? They said I could go, but all of a sudden I can't go. What's happening? You don't even know that this person, your mom or your best friend or your boss or a coworker or whoever that you unintentionally triggered due to your light, then tried to bind you, then put you in a jar somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have intuition. That's why we have gut feelings about people, about environments, about places, about ways of being. No, I'm not. I don't resonate with that. I don't resonate with how y'all think. I don't resonate with how y'all move because I see I can foresee how things can go wrong. Naked intuition storms alchemy. I can foresee by me being naked, vulnerable in this sort of way, by me walking in this light, by me hanging out with these people, by me going into these environments. No, I'm going to utilize my intuition around storms in my life, around why fate has blocked certain paths for me. Or you may be in these types of environments. It's time for you to turn on your, it's time for you to put your antennas on. Why, why am I blocked? Why am I always broke? Why, why this? Why that? Why, why, why are things always falling down and falling around me? Because you need to alchemize true passion and romance. They desire you to feel, to feel safe, not to be brazen in shame etheric chords and mass yeah there's there's a lot of people your etheric chords is your karma your your akashic records so there's mass around your akashic records when you come down here you don't know who you are what you're meant to do who you're meant to be you don't know that you're a queen you don't know that you're a king until you start to do the walk walk the walk talk the talk you start to figure out oh i'm a testimony oh snap now hold on now let me find out god really does have his hand on me let me find out I really do have something to live for. Yeah, you think? That's why faith is so imperative. But there's been there's been masks around your, your Akashic records, around who you are. Rightfully so, because we're on Earth, we're in Earth school right now. And that's why we have free will. That's why people question, why does God let bad things happen to good people? Why does God let this happen? Why does well, why do, good, why do good people let bad things happen to them? That is a question that we must ask ourselves. We must ask ourselves because it says it all in the Bible and everywhere else where people who are successful, they let you know there has to be a balance between, you know, you and them, right? Them and we, we and us, we and me. There's a polarity between everything, but it's still both. Everything can't be all about you. And everything can't be all about them. So why do bad things happen to good people? Because good people let bad things happen to them without speaking with conviction, without taking accountability, without walking their path. Yeah, without desiring to feel safe. No, I'm just gonna take what was handed to me because obviously if I was born in this family, I was meant to save it. I was meant to heal it because I am the light. 
Who told you that? Utilize your, your intuition when, when you're undergoing transition, especially if you've been given a net or given a bridge or given a rope to help you out. We already know that we already know the the uh, crab in a bucket mentality. It, it, it's a thing because it's a thing. That's why I say there, these things wouldn't exist if they didn't exist. So. And I'm also getting as long as you're vulnerable with your with your intuition, right? It's one thing to be vulnerable out of fear or out of shame or out of guilt. Oh, I don't feel like I can do this because and then some completely delusional made up situation that you, you know, created in your mind versus you following your intuition, which is essentially your inner truth. No, I don't feel like this is a good thing for me because something is telling me that there is something over yonder that I don't even want to mess with. And then usually you'll have some some revelation, some breakthrough, some clarity behind that as to why you were right or as to why you have this this gut feeling. Yeah, because I'm really getting with Leo here and the fifth house and Saturn being here. You conviction in these karmic cycles, in these in these restrictions. Saturn is karma. Big Daddy Saturn. Yeah. Community and poverty. The attack on your sense of self, on your creativity. Yeah, the higher mind. Expressing your thoughts. Yeah, child and pathway. Your ancestors are going to block any pathway that's going to bring about storms to you, to your inner child to you as their child because you have things to be <laughs> things to be yeah you have places to be people to see coffin sudden wealth privileged lady gift distant horizons journey high honor lovers occupation concern bad health imprisonment despair mature woman expectation mature man main female courtship toil and labor Thoughts, adjudication. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really getting that. The end to these gifts, the sudden wealth, your journey essentially. is working on and working with people who are in bad health and in prison in their own mind, right? And that goes back to creativity, self-expression, recreation, relationships, and offspring. Judge them by their fruits. Let's see. Yeah, endings are inevitable. The world awaits you. You have things to do. And if that's and if they're wondering if if the if negative people who have done spell work on you or have gossiped about you, have smear campaigned you, they can't figure out why do people still like this person? I done said everything I could about this person. Cause they see that what you said about this person is actually you. They see that you're projecting. Okay? They see the light in this person, and regardless of you putting them in a jar, you smear campaigning them, you turning everyone against them or trying to at least, you trying to bring storms upon their journey. Fate has already blocked this path for you and fate has already blocked them from going down that road. They can't figure out, they just can't understand why is God good? <sighs> That's really what I'm getting. Focus on the here and now, yeah. And that's what you guys need to do as you're moving new devils, new levels, new devils. Focus on the here and now, though. Focus on the new. Yeah, there's still going to be devils. But did you hear it? New levels. 
new money, brand new. Focus on the here and now, take yourself out on a date. You never needed those wings to fly, yeah. Spirit's gonna help you fly away, help you get to where you gotta go. See people, this is, and this is what I'm getting. People look into your Akashic records or looking into your birth chart or doing this or doing that or getting tarot readings on you before you even knew what the fuck tarot was, right? Trying to figure out who are you? What are you going to do? How much are you going to have? What can I see? What can I take? How can I make it seem like I incorporate it? Or how can I make it seem like I help advance this person? Because I already knew. <laughs> Bird me hand rub, thinking they got it all figured out. God is watching you watch me. Sir or ma'am, hello, did you forget God is still good? But yes, they have because in their mind, like I said, they're constantly triggered. They're so low vibrational, but they try to convince everybody that they're not. Well, how sway if you're the voodoo queen? How sway if you're the gossip queen or the gossip king? It's going to be in, these, in the age of Aquarius, it's going to be very clear. Who's been doing the work? But yeah, they they're they're, they're watching. You're they're, they're looking at you through their crystal ball. They see they see that. All right, back in January 2011, you had a bid a bridge built. All right, so your ancestors and your spirit team and God, well, God can um conducted your ancestors and your spirit team to build you a bridge. Okay, there there goes your pathway for you to get to, for you to move to D.C. All right. In 2014. So in 2011, God conducted your ancestors, your spirit team to make you a bridge so that in 2014 you can move to D.C. All right. Somebody see, somebody sees that in their in their crystal ball when they're breaking spiritual law, when they're looking into your Akashic records, not even focused on how can they heal? How can they get to their the, the other side of their fence, the other side of their bridge? Do I have a bridge? Should they had a helicopter. You feel what I'm saying? But they see you. You just look so fly the way you doing it. I just got to get some. Or I just got to stop it. I just got to block it because it can only be me. But you missed your helicopter, sir, ma'am. You missed it. You missed your chance. They tried to blow up. They tried to obliterate. They did obliterate your, your bridge. They saw it before you even knew it was there. But guess what? They didn't even know. That happened in what? 2011. They did it 10 months after the bridge was built. God told them in 2011, build the bridge for 2014. This is how foresight works. This is how destiny, how fate works. It's already written for you. Some things are written. Some things you can. Oh, I see this. I want this. If you're in alignment, God will make God will make it be true. You can have that. Right. If you're in alignment. Some things are destined. They're in stone. Other things, you know, as as Earth evolves and as we evolve, we start to see things. We, You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so these people, they blew up your, your bridge in 2011, the same year that it was built. They didn't think God saw that. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, they're the ones that built it. They put in their hard earned work on your behalf for you to get there. All you had to do was get into celestial alignment to make sure that you could, you could, you know, and, and imagine you doing what you need to do in the 3D, but somebody somewhere you may not even know this person is triggered by you, triggered by your light, triggered by your path, triggered by your destiny. I'm going to blow up every bridge. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to roadblock. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. <laughs> and you will never know. <laughs> right? Who don't know when you have spiritual gifts, when you're tapping into those spiritual gifts, they don't know anything about you collective. But they think that they have it all figured out. That's pride. That's ego. That's the downfall. These are the storms that fate has blocked this path for you. Because in the meanwhile, these types of people, they'll be messaging, messaging you. I got to get a move on it. But yeah, they already be plotting and planning. Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. You've earned all your stripes. Yeah, you already you need to know who you are. And this is part of your development. Knowing who you are. Not, don't, not be expecting validation from people. All right. That's also you healing your inner child. Because when you are a child, you're taught that you're, you're dependent. Let me do this for you because you're still learning. Right. But for a lot of us, we had to realize that a lot of what we were learning or who we were learning from. Huh. Storms. Shit. Fate don't even have to block the path. 
I'm begging and I'm pleading, block this path. Build me a bridge, bring me a boat. Because my expectations here are very low. I've earned all my stripes. You know, some people that was your story and other people you had to do this, you had to do the work because people may have, you know, the, it, it could have worked. Knocking down your inner child, you can't do it. Let me do it for you. Your self-worth, karma behind your self-worth, behind your self-expression, your recreation, your relationships and your offspring. But guess what? You already have all the answers. Stand up for yourself. Yeah, we're all just stardust, all of us. So anybody who tries to tell you you're, you're not enough, you're not anything, tell them to look in the mirror and say it to themselves three times. Something lovely will grow from this though. Justice is definitely coming. Unplug and relax for a spell. Yeah, for these people that also try to, to do black magic in order to, to manipulate, swap destinies. Using their mouths to cause chaos and harm. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Expect to take flight. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Focus on the here and now. Open your heart and receive the emotions. Excuse me. Open your heart and receive the emotions around you. This is new friendship, self-love, pleasure. Ten of Swords. Three of Wands. And the Five of Swords and the Chariot. Yeah, that's taking flight. <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye, busters. Passion and romance await upon my pathway. The fuck? Clarify the Ace of Cups. Not a Cups. Yeah. Expressing your creativity with um, compassionate emotion, which is what I'm doing now. Some of you guys may have started your own channel. Some of you guys may be starting your own things, doing your own things. Yeah, the star and the six of cups, healing from the past, being precautious, designing, control, but determined, telling the truth, speaking your truth, moving forward. What else for the ace of cups? Queen of wands. Yeah, you're very confident right now. You can always call on your natural confidence and you're learning that. But having grace with yourself throughout this process, 10 of swords, 10 of wands. So 10, 10, yeah, it's definitely the end of a cycle, but you're focusing on yourself. Yep, the emperor and the empress. Wow, oh my gosh, you guys, that is beautiful. Yes, yeah, so your surroundings will undergo transition, unexpected income. Take yourself out on a date. So, yeah. What's the three of wands? Okay, they want me to move the emperor and the empress over here to the three of wands. So, yeah, you're definitely planning for this maturity or planning along with this maturity. Planning with this new maturity, with this new age, with this new wisdom, with this new development. And just know in the future as well, fate will block paths for you to protect your inner child. Yeah, especially when it's something codependent or something that's going to bring about a tower. Yeah, the tower, the fool, the six of swords. So what's this? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. The time is right to take action on your idea. So you will know. Mm -hmm. Upon your pathway, don't seek anyone's approval. You've, own, you've earned all your stripes. I was going to say owned. So yeah, you're going to ownership. No more renting. If that's what you want. And this doesn't have to just be in regards to a house or anything like that. But yeah. But yeah, like I'm saying. They they thought that they, they blew your bridge down. And they did obliterate the bridge. But right after that, a secret freaking helicopter got... They actually, when they thought that they was on their way to their helicopter, it was gone. Spirit sent it over on over to you. Got it wrapped in everything with your name on it. Imagine that. You were supposed to have a bridge. Yeah, later on you were going to have a helicopter. But these people were so covetous and angry and ignorant in their dealings. Oh, God should only be blessing me. 
but they don't even see their blessings as blessings. That's the thing about it. These people are so ungrateful. They don't even see their blessings as blessings. They're, they're, they don't even see their blessings. That's the thing. Stop. Let's stop it there. They don't see their blessings, let alone see them as blessings. They see them as this is why I'm better than you. This is why I should step on you. This is why I should obliterate your bridge because it should only be me. Imagine that. Now God has taken away everything that they were, everything that they thought they were, everything that they thought they had over you. And what? What now? Seek a union of mind and spirit. Clarify the uh, Knight of Cups. The devil. You are only limited by what you believe is possible. Why is the devil all here? For the Knight of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, these people want to work together, all right? And you, you'll be able to tell in these dynamics when they want to work together and they want you to, to submit to them, okay? Yeah. This could be things that you're uh, reminiscing on. These binded, these, yeah, binding you to them. Force gaiety, because mm -hmm, they're prideful. They want glory, gain, vitality. What's the Ace of Swords here with the Three of Pentacles? What's the truth? Yeah, the moon. It was an illusion. Yeah, so anyway, for the moon, um, down here for the Queen of Wands, I got the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Tower. So yeah, you're having revolutions, truths about these dynamics. Um, and you will continue to. You got seven, seven out here. And then for the for the um ten of wands and the ten of swords, I got the seven of cups and the four of cups. So you're really bored with these illusions. These people are also bored in their illusions. All right, they want to confuse you some more, put you in some more contemptuous situations frivolous situations unorthodox situations just so that they can watch you because they're bored all right they want to watch you stalk you some more um and yeah they want you to share with them because they're they're unhappy they're bored they don't know how to how to gain success so they want you to share with them even though when it was them when they had it when they was up you were down right it wasn't about sharing it wasn't about caring what's the page of swords king of swords yeah, they want to see how you think. What's the King of Swords? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. They want to see how you think, how you built your legacy. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Hangman. Yeah. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Independence, thanklessness, cynicism. <clears throat> what are these? What's the um, Power of Font reverse? Two of Wands. In the Eight of Cups. Yeah, something that you already chose to walk away from. Like it says here, you listen to your intuition. You took yourself out on a date or you are. What's the King of Cups? Page of Swords. Give me another one. Yeah, so this person could be watching you build... Or these people are watching, yeah, they're watching you rebuild, be meticulous and patient. They're watching you be conservative, um, conservative, dependable, efficient. Some of you guys may have even changed your beliefs, your values after dealing with these people. Again, they can't understand why or how, why or how God is still good. Yeah, the the world and the seven of wands, and you're and you're blocking and you're you're being very protective over your privacy, over your your glory, your vitality, which you've gained, your positivity. And they hate that. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, your legacy. What's the Page of Swords? They're watching. Yeah, Judgment and the Five of Pentacles, going through karma, left out in the cold. Going through karma and left out in the cold. Wish judgment for the page of swords. The fool. Yeah, a damn fool. Yeah, page of cups. It was just a dream. Don't let your emotions get in the way, though. What's the five of pentacles? Eight of wands. So, yeah, they're still going to project on, project this onto you. Give me another one. Mm-hmm. Bad news. Super, superficiality. Instability. Domineering. Theatrical. Distracted. Bad news. They're going to project this all, all onto you. Still be energy vampires. 
This is superficial conversations where there's still energy dumping, trauma dumping on you. What's the page of wands in reverse? Yeah, three of swords in reverse. Under the guise of optimism or recovery, but it's all a distraction. Can't make it up. Five of cups and the ace of wands and the seven of pentacles. Can you invest in me again? Because you know I'm an energy vampire and you know you were supposed to be my sacrifice. Can you give to me again? I'm sorry. Can we try it again? These demons is chasing after me and I still haven't, I still haven't sacrificed you yet. I'm not done. Come back here. No, fate has blocked this path for me. For you and for me. For storms. Yeah, come back here. I'm not done. Yeah, can you please? What's the emperor? What's going on here with the emperor and the three of wands? You guys are plotting and planning yourselves. What's the emperor? Or spirit is. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Frivolity, setbacks, poverty. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. And the five of pentacles. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse for the emperor? Five of cups. So, yeah, a lot of healing in regards to this spiritual warfare, in regards to these setbacks. That these very same people could now, like, it's a mind fuck. What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, superficiality. They could still be talking to these people, still be in these, in these, yeah, in these environments, three of cups, ace of wands, knight of wands, justice, trying to bring justice, trying to do the right thing. Right. Like the emperor would, right? What's the Empress doing? Yeah, healing. The star. And what else? King of Pentacles. Getting her money right. Could be in a new connection. But no, we're just really continuing to solve issues in practical ways. Being realistic, solid, reliable. Yeah, magician. Using her magician skills. What's the King of Pentacles for the Empress? The hangman. <clears throat> yeah, suspension, recalibration, sacrifice. So this could be a new energy or just looking at the world in a, in a new perspective. Clarify the hangman for the King of Pentacles and the, and the Empress. Yeah, the lovers and the Eight of Wands. So yeah, definitely had to be in her masculine energy due to this because these are third parties as well that probably broke up twin flames. Okay, so she had to move forward through this ending. All right, find her own sense of happiness and pride manifest her way up out of this third party situation these third party situations loser friends hating family members and this is on both sides you if you know you know clarify the magician literally six of swords yeah six of wands and the ten of cups spirit had to let had to let her know too here, because there's hidden modems, there's short-sightedness, superficiality, confusion, ignorance. But that was part of her development as well. So she's figuring out how to move on. What's the chariot over here for the Five of Swords? You guys are taking flight. I don't know what the hell they thought. Yeah, be open to receiving the nurturing you need. And holding on, holding back, holding, holding your your money down all right saving your money is what i'm getting as well clarify the queen of cups yeah king of swords being meticulous and patient thinking things through from all perspectives what's the four of pentacles you could even be lawyered up death and reverse yeah oh shit So the Four of Pentacles is death in reverse. Yeah, this could be something that you're not used to or you didn't really necessarily want to do. A force change. What's death in reverse for the Four of Pentacles? Three of Cups. Yeah, third parties. And Ace of Wands. Yeah, they might have got the best of you. What's this Three of Cups? Yep, Six of Wands in reverse. Them love spells or them putting you in a jar or putting your picture in, in the damn um, cemetery or whatever the fuck they did. And 
and I'm sorry y'all, but I be picking up so much crazy stuff. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Listening to your inner voice when making decisions. Eight of Swords. So you could be all up in your head thinking you need someone else or you need help. You have your spirit team here with passion and romance. You also could have met people or met someone in particular where you could be confused. You could be all up in your head in regards to it. will this be successful? Will there be third parties? Yeah, judgment. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could be, what's the Eight of Swords or the Ace of Pentacles? Or you could just be simply wondering, patience, control, decisions made, finding help. Yeah, you could be wondering, um, are you going to get the help you need? Is this what, is this really divinely guided? Are you in alignment? Is this a false twin or is this a false opportunity? Whatever this is, is this going to be another karmic test? What's the Two of Swords? But I believe they're telling you, yeah, discord, disunion, conflict of interest, impatience, and stability. I believe they're telling you that this is passion and romance. This is a divine gift. Yeah, you could be defensive. What's the temperance in reverse? Eight of Wands in the world. Yeah, because you're focused on a new beginning. Yeah. Nine of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Six of, and the six of Cups. Yeah, you definitely could be... Thinking about the past, not trying to repeat the past. So they're just letting you know to seek seek a union of mind and spirit with this. Yeah, you will receive news from afar. You are destined to succeed. So I feel like this is good. It's a go. A barrier keeps you from your goal with something. A sign subtle approach is needed. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. So yeah, I feel like you may have to kiss a frog or... Maybe even kiss a few, fro few frogs. Maybe you already did this before you get to your prince. This doesn't have to be love, but Leo does rule love. Fifth house rules love. This could also be with projects. Your self-expression in general. Yeah, conflict. They wanted to create conflict with you being a good person, with you having good experiences, these people. Yeah, they wanted to create conflict upon your fate. And they thought that they were just going to sit back and yeah. And watch. <laughs> these people save money for this for this type of thing as well. They create dynamics. All right. They create fake beefs. Yeah. They, they even create they uh, create receipts, I'm hearing. They save receipts. This is so weird. Yeah, disturbance because they're disturbed. They're obscure, irritating, otherworldly, not in a good way with state. And other people can see that as well. Just in case you're wondering. Or they will. Yeah, profession and collaboration. They do this for fun. But I'm also getting that, yeah, you got some hitters on your side too. So who they playing with? What's calm? Because what is this here for? Yeah, fate has blocked this path for you. Natural disaster and live and learn. Yeah, then they want to sit back and watch you go through natural disasters and call it life. You can't make it up and call it life. Meanwhile, they, yeah. Meanwhile, they're sleeping so happily, knowing that they feel like they had success, victory, achievement, triumph with their unpleasantness, their their offense to your promise, to your destiny, to what's yours, to what's given to you, to what's promised to you, to what's been confirmed and assured for you. Why? Because what they all they can think about is when you were unfree or when you were captive or this could be past life uh, drama. Or they think about how they can be unfree. Utilizing, yeah, utilizing your energy. What's readiness for merit making? 
this is also to let you guys know to withdraw from being so yeah tap into self-love know when to hold them when to hold them who to help how to help yeah what would be the best way to be of service because you you could have been reserving spots and seats for third wheels for enemies yeah and it was causing fragility disease weakness with your self-love with your self-assurance with your healing your pride yeah i just said it what's withdrawal luck yeah there's going to be reward in that clarify luck for withdrawal yeah robbery and commitment Yeah, people definitely could have exploited your commitment, exploited your, your contracts, get, get you to sign certain things, get you to be a part of certain things. But also, yeah, this is going to bring luck to getting rid of these binding spells, all right? Because the only way for these types of energies to stick to you, to manifest in your life, is if you're aligned with them mentally, physically, emotionally. So you have to tap into self-love. And part of that is knowing who you can be nice to and who you can't. Who is somebody that is moral, is, you know what I'm saying, is in synergy with your morality, with your humanness, with your goodness. Yeah. Memory, confinement, and care. That's also a cycle within itself, okay? Clarify saving for conflict. Real estate. Mm hmm. Yeah. Evidence of marionette. But they already, your spirit team already dictated the dictatorship or detected the dictatorship. Yeah, and dictated the dictatorship. Like I said, as soon as they, as soon as they obliterate the bridge, they're stealing their helicopter. They don't even have to steal it. Motherfucker, we gave you this helicopter. You feel what I'm saying? What God gives, God can take away. They, they forgot. I don't know how, I don't know why. They're, they're in conflict on earth so busy trying to preserve and, and collect and, and, and do mean things to get wealth and to get investments and to get this person's husband and to get this person's wife and to sleep with this man and to do this and, and to disrespect him and to disrespect her and to get on our nerves and to get on you feel what i'm saying let me do everything other than what the fuck i'm supposed to do natural disaster live and learn and let's call it something else with this simplicity inner peace and in meditation fuck out of here with that because they feel like they have profession, they have expertise on how to collab with certain people, how to steal energy, how to make it something that it's not. I can I can just cloak myself in your glory. Huh? Some people have lived their whole lives riding a prophet's wave. It's a prophet out there in the world that don't know that they're a prophet, don't know that they're chosen because they're so bogged down letting letting someone exploit them out of their reward due to yeah this may be your wife this may be your husband but they don't love you they're they're committed to misunderstanding you they're committed to bringing conflict what's disturbance they carry an attachment yeah gift here this is the only thing that they can give you yeah you would have to settle for less loss compromise with loss agree to loss agree to bereavement and sorrow yeah out of control yeah out of being separate that's an illusion you don't have no one else you don't need no one else to fix you right as soon as that person says you don't have anyone else because they may have isolated you from your family they may have isolated you from your loved ones i don't need no one else you never needed those wings to fly child because fate is here you got some you got some hitters on your side that will show you what collaboration is that will show you what backup is that will show you what unity is how to enhance your life clarify profession for fate imagination literally clarify imagination for profession yeah justice strategy and goal that's their goal that's what they do with collaboration for fate stop yeah and no bring stagnation no bring pauses and breaks to these collaborations to whatever it is that you're working on fate will block any pass for you that is not for your highest and greatest good yeah trap and reverse and deception you can be fake all you want to but you ain't gonna be trapped yeah Blessing, protest, inadequacy, 
stability, acceptance, wish, hope. Yeah, sometimes you could block your own blessings, hoping and wishing for something that's not in alignment with you. But you're not about to be stuck there. Clarify, stop. Protest, literally. <clears throat> literally, they're going to protest all of that. Clarify, natural disaster. Trap and reverse, literally. And they're going to do this to them, too. They're not going to be able to trap you. Clarify, trap and reverse. Introvert and fury. And this is going to be these people. These people, they, they do all this stuff for things, for attention. Imagine doing all that for attention. Imagine trying to ruin someone else's life and you don't get to trap them. And you're introverted and you're mad still. Yeah. Imagine. Because you didn't see how you were overindulging. You weren't being obedient. With fury for natural disaster. Loneliness, literally. They hate that. With introvert for natural disaster. Blessing in reverse. You're, there, it was never a blessing attached to it. And, they, and they're going to be in spiritual jail. Or they could be going to literal jail. Depending on how, how hard the backfire went to drive them crazy. To make them do something in the 3D that's, for, that's going to do this. With live and learn. Illness in reverse and origin in reverse. Yeah, nothing stuck. Sweet dream, hesitation. Yeah, now they're going to have to think about it. Detection, investigation proof. Hmm, has any of my spell work been working? I'm confused. I'm worried. You've been sleeping. What's illness in reverse? They can't figure out why you're not sick. Family and evidence in reverse. Yeah, this is also the pretending game. This evidence in reverse for illness, apology, guilt, confession. Yeah, so they they already have certain people on their on their sleeve, or I don't know what this is. Clarify origin in reverse, memory, accident. Yeah, triumph, compromise. So yeah, like I said, they already have people that compromise with their BS. What's apology here? Curse. Yeah, endorsement in reverse. They can't tell them anything. Yeah, they've already been deceived to lose their promise. That's the only people that they can really feel, uh, are really fool. And I was getting ready to say feel. So yeah. Other people who are not attached to their purpose, to themselves, to their creativity, their sense of self, their sense of self-expression. Yeah, have faith. beauty yeah have faith with your inner beauty inner and outer beauty and discover your life purpose that's the best thing you can do phoenix rising yeah self-sabotage have faith with self-sabotage let me see beauty say what you mean take off your masks and unleash your creativity all right at the bottom of the deck you got love family and tribe pride in alchemy and patience all right collective that's what i have for you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video